Hello YouTube. Let's check out a bunch of new green light. Uh, first up is an older green light. Uh, eBay purchase. I don't know. I'm not going to open it up right now. I don't know if I have it or not. So right now I'm unpacking my whole collection and organizing it. So, I'll be able to quickly know if I have it or not. So, until my collection is uh, organized, I will not be cracking this one. Uh, if it's one I already have loose, I definitely don't want to need two of them loose. So, it's an older green light, green post. It's uh, pretty hard to get. You don't see it come up very often. So, when I seen it, I had to snag it. And the rest of them, I'm pretty sure we're going to crack open. So we got this 1969 Chevy K10. They also have a Barrett Jackson version. It's identical, but it's lowered. I'm definitely going to go after that version. Do not have it yet. But I think a raised and a lowered one would be pretty cool. I really like the Barrett Jackson cars and the Meekum. I could almost make a run after all of them. I thought about it. No longer saving any of the plastic. It's all going in the recyclables from now on. Even auto roll. Uh, a lift kit is a plastic add on, which I don't mind. Very, very nice looking casting. So hopefully it's something that uh, they're able to recycle. I don't see why not. It's a lot of plastic. Next one is going to be the Indep Independence Day 1971 Chevy C10. Which that's the Chevy K10 69, I think. Yep, 69. So this is from Independence Day, and it has a really awesome weathered effect. So it's a separate piece, but doesn't open. On either of them. Very heavy casting. It's it's heavier than this one. I don't know why. Uh, it might be the same weight. I think it's the same casting. I don't see any differences besides the lift kit. We'll look and see if it's the same tooling number. Uh, 2019. GL035. GL035. So, same tooling. Next is a really awesome 1966 Jeep Jeepster Commando from the 50th anniversary. Alright, this does have a rubber band on it. So it's something you might not want to keep carded because uh, that rubber band can rot away and wreak havoc on the paint. Top comes off real easy on this.
really really light especially compared to the truck looks like a Jeep front end though really cool looks good without the top too next we have a really awesome 1971 Plymouth Cuda 340 from the Graveyard Cars, which is a Greenlight Hollywood Graveyard Cars. I could go after all the Graveyard Cars, they're nice. Very, very nice Plymouth Barracuda. Top goes back on real easy. Nice looking gas can, real spare tire, metal base. Happy habit for the Jeep collection. And this thing just looked too good in black to not get. Love the 71 Plymouth Barracuda or Plymouth Cuda. And we got a 2020 Nissan 370Z, 50th anniversary. You can really smell the paint on this one. Man, that thing looks good. Nice engine under there. Goes through the hood. Love this casting. Man, my camera does not want to focus today. 340. Louvers. I think they have this in a convertible too, so it's a plastic top, but it looks really good. You can't tell, it looks like a vinyl top. Three seventy. Soon as I opened it, I got a huge whiff of the paint. Now that was the fiftieth anniversary. I can't remember which one this was, but it's the same paint scheme, just red. Then we have the 1958 Plymouth Fury Evil version. Christine just has dark windows. From Greenlight Hollywood, Series 24. Might be the same series the graveyard car was from. And I went ahead and got out the blue version. So, three variations of the 370Z already. Uh, definitely did better with the headlights on this one, the black one. Oh no, they're just black. But they were detailed. Wish I had out the auto rolled. This is the first one, the first green light one that I've picked up. And Johnny Lightning does it too. I uh, think I have a couple variations of the Johnny Lightning one. Pretty sure I do. If I don't, I would like to get a variation of each of them. I would love to get the Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment one. It's a hard one to come by. 
I got the 2015 Nissan GTR with race car driver. Well, kind of sure appears like Greenlight did a heck of a job with this casting. Looks really good. Does not have an opening hood. I think the auto rolled they don't put the opening hood on some of the Christine versions, but uh, the Plymouth Fury version has an opening hood, so the options always there for auto rolled. Alright, this has a plastic base but rubber tires. Huh. Don't look bad. Thought about making a run after all these, and uh, this one it was real cheap. It was like two ninety nine or three ninety nine. So sometimes you can pick them up for real cheap. That would uh, hobby shop series one. So two thousand seventeen. Then we got some green machines. We got 2019 Chevy Silverado 1500. You now I collect the Chevy Silverado, so. This is Blue Collar Collection Series 6. Really green base, green rims. It's number 8,213. So, not a low number at all. Very heavy casting. I really like it. I just really, really wish they would have put lens headlights in it. Chevy embossed on the back looks real nice. Since we have that out, we might as well show it with the Dodge Ram. It's white. And then we have a 510. That's a green machine. pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to pick up any more white green machines, white body green machines, but I got three of them. Dodge Ram's a casting I collect, Silverado's a casting I collect, and the 510's a casting I collect. I mean, they did a heck of a job on the 510. Got lens tail lights, painted headlights, but that's so they can put different graphics on them for like racing and stuff. And then we have a green body green machine, and it's a Ohio Highway Patrol four, 1995 Four Crown Vic. I know it wasn't that long ago I opened up the regular version of this. Did not get it out though, I don't know. I think it got packed away. So. Hasn't been unpacked yet. This looks really nice in a green bodied. It will look real nice alongside the normal version.
And then the last one I got to show is a 2019 Ford F-350, a Miho exclusive. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed when I got it, though. The line on the side of it, like, camera will focus. Try and get it to focus. It's uneven. I think it might supposed to jump up over that or something. But the bed line there. It's just really, really uneven. Like it's a real bad paint, paint job or something. So... Let's pull it out and see if the other side's any better. Unless I ever see another one, I'll never know if it's common or an error. It says on it, the 2800 of them, 2898, 126 chases. Huh, that's pretty cool. They tell you how many. Now I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, the line looks real bad on the other side and is completely different. But Still an awesome looking casting. And they went all out with this one. Lens headlights. This has a metal base because uh, any of like the Miho exclusives have the metal base, but any of them that are coming out in the Dolly series has a plastic base. Which I don't mind. I think these are twice the price. And I do have a fourth one of these already. Picked it up at the hobby shop. Uh, it's a Brie one that comes with a truck. But I couldn't resist it because it's going to go in the Brie racing set. And it has a truck. So I think it has a trailer. But that will be its own separate video coming up. Uh, please uh, make sure to like, sus subscribe, and uh, let me know which one was your favorite. Have a good weekend.